Welcome back everyone. In the kitchen today I'm going to show you how to make a country tomato ground beef casserole. This casserole is going to have egg noodles in it. So I'm going to take you to the back. We're going to get these started. I've got some ground beef in my big pot here. And we're going to flavor that up. We're going to put it all together with some delicious flavors. Let's go. I've got a large pot of water that I brought to a boil. And you know it's always simpler when you put that lid on it. I'm going to salt the water so that we can go ahead and have the noodles nice and flavored. Just a couple of teaspoons of salt should do it. Now these are the dumpling egg noodles and it's 12 ounce package. We're going to add it. Now we're going to cook these per the directions on the back of the package until they're all dente because these noodles will finish cooking in the oven in the casserole. So generally we're talking maybe nine minutes. In a large pot, I've got one, one and a half pounds of ground beef. We're gonna brown it up while we're breaking it up. All right, while this is browning, I'm gonna add in a bell pepper and an onion for some flavor and texture. I pulled this bell pepper out of my refrigerator as leftovers, so I'm just gonna take my knife cut strips and then as we're cutting it we're going to go ahead and just add it to the ground beef and get that softening down also. We're going to take a yellow onion we're just going to do the same we're going to chop it. I'm going to take the ends off and we're going to peel off that outer layer. We're going to cut the onion in half I'm going to do large slices and then we're just going to run the knife through to get our dices pretty big. And then we'll just add these into our pot with the peppers and the ground beef. Now a country casserole, it has your pasta in it. It's got some sort of tomato that we're going to use in it. There's mushrooms in it. And I'm going to show you how you don't even have to use a mushroom if you don't want to use mushrooms and it's got the ground beef and seasonings. And it's gonna be delicious. There we go, that's gonna help really flavor the ground beef. We're gonna cook this down until the ground beef is no longer pink and our vegetables in here are nice and softened. We're gonna drain our pasta. I'm just gonna leave it in the pot until we're ready for it. And it won't be long. The ground beef is nice and browned up. What we're gonna do is drain out any excess grease. I'm just gonna use my paper towel trick here. Just push all your meat off to the side, put your paper towels in and then just drain it. There we go. We're going to season our ground beef. We're going to go in with half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to go right across the top and go back the other way. Season it well. We're going to go in with a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to go in with a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. All right, let's mix that all up. Okay, what we're gonna do now is turn off the burner. All right, we are fixing to add in delicious flavor now. One can, now this is 10 ounces of tomato soup. We're countrifying this. Hang on to your can for a minute. And then we've got one can of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. What a flavor. All right, if you don't like cream of mushroom, you can substitute 
cream of onion soup or even cream of celery soup. It'll change the flavor of the casserole, but not by much, and that's fine. We've got half a cup of milk. I'm going to put it into my can. Use a spoon, swirl it around. You can get all that flavor out of there. And then we're going to add it to the tomato soup can. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see all that going in there. Here we go. Stir this up. I'm not a mushroom fan, but I do like cream of mushroom in dishes, and that's totally fine. But my favorite would be cream of celery. All right, let's add that. We're going to drizzle in a little bit of Worcestershire, whatever your flavor level is with that. You don't even have to put it in. Adds a little tang. Yeah. We're going to put in some Parmesan cheese, half a cup shredded. Let's mix this all up. It smells good. What do you think, cameraman? Oh, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. If you don't know, my cameraman, a lot of y'all do, and some of y'all may not, that's my husband, Thomas. He comes into some videos also sometimes, so he's the taste tester. <laughs> it's a tough job. Somebody got to do it. Yep. <laughs> now we're ready to put in our cooked and drained noodles. Put them all in. It'll fit. <laughs> All right, we're going to combine this all together. Seriously, take a spoon, give it a try, and make sure that your seasonings are where you want them before we finish this off. Mmm, wow, that's delicious. We're going to be using a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. All right, this is what I use right here, people ask. So it's an avocado spray, 100% pure. You can find this in any store. Let's take all of our mixture here, and we're going to pour it into our baking dish. Ooh, smooth it out. My oven is preheating at 350 degrees. What we're going to do is cover this with foil. Now, you don't have to do this, but it'll keep your noodles from getting kind of crunchy. But if you like that, then you can leave it uncovered. <laughs> but I don't like crunchy pasta after it's cooked. And then what we're going to do cook this for 20 to 25 minutes till it's heated through. We're going to cover it with cheese, a shredded cheese, a cheddar cheese, or Monterey Jack cheese, whatever you got. We're going to put it back in the oven for about another 5 to 10 minutes until that cheese is nice and melted and has a little golden color to it. I'll be back. Pulled the casserole out of the oven. Look at how delicious that looks. Now, I did put some garnish on top. It's just some fresh parsley. I let it sit for a few minutes. No longer, because we're all ready. <laughs> oh, it smells delicious. Y'all ready? Mm. Oh, look at the inside of that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let me grab a fork and give this a try for you. There's my bite, nice and cheesy. Mm. You know it, it's delicious. You know what else I noticed about it? You can't really taste that mushroom, but there's a flavor there and it's delicious. I think it just merges in with that tomato soup and the Worcestershire and the other seasonings because this is delicious and it's mild. That I love about it too. All right, who's making this casserole? Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know 
when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm. Mm-hmm.